Hey guys, it's Ursula with Bosvani.com and today we're doing an instructional video on the best way to plant our new line of wildflower seed mix. This one specifically is a pollinator mix, which is a great way to attract your favorite pollinators to your backyard garden. So what I've done first is lightly wet the soil and then gone over everything with a rake just so that the soil is ready to receive the seeds. These seed packets have seven grams of seeds in them, and that's enough to cover about 250 to 500 square feet, depending on how densely you like your flowers to be planted. I have about 36 square feet here, um, so I obviously won't be using the whole packet, but I will be using a decent amount of it. I like to plant wildflowers thick. Um, I like them to look really grown in together. Um, whatever you like for your backyard garden is fine. Just plant um, seed density accordingly. So first, we're gonna just pour some seeds into my hand and then the best way to plant these is to just kind of loosely cover the ground that you want. You don't want it to be too compact. Um, but just kind of using a loose hand and covering all of the ground that you want. I'll be going over this again as well, because um, like I said, I like to plant them thick. So you just want to go over the ground again, um, obviously around any existing plants that you have in your garden. And this mix includes several different types of flowers, both annuals and perennials. So some will bloom this year and some will bloom every year after that. Next, I have this wheelbarrow of peat moss and I'm going to apply the peat moss in an even layer at about a quarter inch thick. Peat moss is really helpful to your garden because it acts as a layer of insulation to keep your soil moist. This is particularly helpful if you are at work during the day or are otherwise unable to provide regular waterings for your garden. If you do water your, reg your garden regularly, it's still helpful to use, um, just again for that added layer of insulation. I went to my local nursery and purchased a half a cube of peat moss, also known as sphagnum moss, and then I've screened it so that it comes out nice and smooth. So my favorite way to apply peat moss is to just kind of rub it between your hands and you want to make sure that you're getting, again, a quarter inch thick layer. So I usually do the entire garden layer by layer um, just to make sure that everything gets coated even. You can also use a shovel um, to apply the peat moss. This is, I like to do it this way just um, to make sure that I'm getting everything even and I like the feel of it. Once you have about a quarter inch of the peat moss along your garden, you do want to make sure to water it right afterwards. It's best to use a watering can or some kind of um, nozzle filter on your hose as you don't want to displace the seeds by heavy watering immediately. So I'm just going to give this a good rinse. Oops, a little bit fell out there. And you just want to water it to where it's very moist. Um, and then water it regularly as, as many times as you're able to throughout the day. I usually, you just want to make sure that it stays moist. So that may be different times um, per day depending on your region. These seeds are growable in zones three through nine. So no matter what planting region or climate zone that you live in, 
you will be able to have a wonderful and beautiful flower garden from this mix. You want to water pretty consistently for the first about six weeks and then slowly reduce the waterings. Again, the peat moss will help drastically with this. Please let us know your experience with our pollinator seed mix in the comments below as long as as well as any questions or comments. Thanks again.